Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. We update almost as frequently as VG Cuts. Hey, Serenity, guess what? The doctors told me your blindness subplot was only temporary after all, because the writers want you to become a regular character. That means you're gonna be able to see again. That's awesome, Jory. Hang in there, sis. I'll have somebody stop by later to pick you up. Please tell me it isn't going to be... Hello, lover. Tristan. Kuwaita, said Kevida, turn again, fly at high again. Oh my god, it's every fangirl's dream come true! Somebody call an ambulance! This limey needs urgent medical assistance! Apparently he has wanker's cramp! Oh no, Bakora, speak to me! Wanker's cramp, the most deadly of British diseases. Don't worry, I'll take him to the hospital. Good idea. While you're at it, you might want to get that harpoon injury taken care of. What harpoon injury? Hey, innocent bystander. Thanks for helping out our friend. May I just interject so that I can say humana, humana, humana? Silence, fools. I, I mean, you're welcome. Excellent. My vague evil plan is going perfectly. You seem like a swell dude. What's your name, pal? Crap in a bucket. I didn't plan for this. Think of a fake name. Think of a fake name. Um... My name is, uh, um, Malik. Malik, huh? That sounds kind of like Marek, the guy we're trying to defeat in this season. Yeah, I get that a lot. Humana, humana, humana! I also get that a lot. Those fools have no idea that it is really I, the evil Marek Ishtar, who plans to turn them against their best friend Yugi Moto so that I can rule the world! Malik, we can kind of hear everything you're saying. Oh, fuck it! Minions, beat their collective asses! Oh no, we're being attacked by Steve's! <laughs> Man, I love a good four kids fight sequence. You can be as violent as you want, so long as nobody sees what you're doing. Somehow I have been captured. It is implied that I am being punched. Doesn't this sort of thing usually happen to Mokuba? I can't believe I've almost got an entire season without being kidnapped. Wait till Seto hears about this. Surprise! Oh, me and my big adorable mouth. Look at them, Steve. They have no idea that we are flipping them off underneath our cloaks. Yeah, man! and they have no clue. In fact, they do not even know we exist. That's cause we're awesome. Yes. Now behold as I swoop down upon them like a ninja and then proceed to rob them of all hope again like a ninja. Do it, man. I still don't see why we couldn't take the Kybercopter. You know how much I hate traveling by foot. Quit your eternal bitching, fancy pants. Greetings, Earthlings. Earthlings? Bow down and worship your digital ruler, Seto Kaiba, for we have kidnapped your next of kin, the Mokuba Kaiba. That figures. Whoa, I think I'm gonna throw up. We also have your friends, Joey and Taya. If you refuse to duel us on top of that huge ass building, their lives shall be forfeit. Do not keep us waiting, for we get bored very easily. Couldn't he have just used the stairs like a normal person? I mean, is it really that hard? Enjoy your new home, girly. You Steves aren't gonna get away with this! My boyfriend plays card games and he'll kick all your butts! Damn it! Every time I meet a guy, he's either gay or a villain in disguise. Prepare to face the wrath of your doom. Yeah! You guys are going down! Correct, Steve. Because in this duel, the loser will face a one-way trip to the Shadow Realm. Right through the ceiling. Ooh, what a feeling! when you're falling through the ceiling. As foretold by Lionel Richie. Damn straight it was. Who the hell are you guys supposed to be anyway? We are the Moonanites, and we are here to rob you of your Egyptian god cards in the name of the moon. Better recognize. You want my god card? You'll have to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. Stand back, Yugi. I'm going to beat these freaks with one hand tied behind my back. No, Kaiba. You need me. I highly doubt that. Don't you get it, Kaiba? This is the episode where we put aside our differences and work together to combine our strengths. This is sounding dangerously close to a slash fic. Look, Kaiba, we probably hate each other about as much as Konami hates Upper Deck. But unlike them, we actually respect one another. So just this once, let's duel as a team. Fine. Just so long as I don't have to draw a smiley face on my hand or any of that bullshit.
Let me go, you creeps. Ow, my adorable nose is shattered. Now, to make my escape disguised as a simple cardboard box. Hey, Steve, why is that girl wearing a cardboard box on your head? Beats me, Steve. You want to go play racquetball later? Jeez, how does Solid Snake always make it look so easy? Hey, what's the big idea? Let me go, you big palooka. Certainly, but first we'd like you to sign your name on this contract. Then you are free to do as you will. Fine, I'll sign your thing, but then you gotta let me go, okay? Now that Joey Wheeler has signed that binding contract, he has unwittingly agreed to have his name legally changed to Steve. His mind is now mine to manipulate. <laughs> Me? I will obey. Master Malik. It's Marek, you fool! Whatever. You have no chance against our supreme decks, for all of our monsters have been modified with power-boosting mask cards. Smoking! On the moon, we have evolved beyond your primitive Earth card games. A typical moon card game can last up to five millennia. Actually, that's not much longer than our card games. Shut up. Also, our card games take place in a zero-gravity environment, without any oxygen. The losers all die of asphyxiation. Asphyxiation, man! That's what I said, Steve. Asphyxiation. The winners also die. You guys are Look at the size of that nose. It's like the animators didn't even care. Mokuba, you have to get out and warn the others about the army of Steve's and their evil plot. Also, try and see if you can get Malik's phone number for me. Fat chance, cootie breath. How the hell did that kid get past our defenses? He was wearing a bright yellow vest. You think we'd be able to spot him? Oh, we must be the worst Steve's ever. After four grueling episodes, I have at last summoned Obelisk the Tormentor. And it's all thanks to teamwork. Right, Kaiba? Save it, Yugi. We both know I'm never gonna believe in that Heart of the Cards crap. At least not until the final episode, anyway. Heart of the what now? Your Obelisk the Tormentor is no match for our secret weapon, the Quad Laser. Suck on that, nerds. Firing in three, two, one. Quad laser go. <laughs> Beholdeth and be transfixed by its trajectory. <laughs> Exactly how long is this going to take? Just give it a minute. Soon it will connect with its target. Yeah, it'll go right up your butt! I said what what? In the butt. I said what what? I've had it up to here with your nonsense. Obelisk, attack their life points directly. Impossible. Nothing can defeat the quad laser, and any attempts you make to do so will only serve to amuse our- <laughs> Now we both have six locator cards, which puts us in the finals. It's only a matter of time before we face off again in the duel arena, Yugi. Yeah, and then I'll get to kick your sorry butt for about the 50th time. Sounds like fun. God, you are so... Idiot. Seto! Mokuba, I thought you were kidnapped. I managed to rescue myself, and I flew all the way over here so we can go and save Yugi's friends. Mokuba, that's incredible. I'm genuinely impressed. For the first time in your life, you've made me proud to call you my brother. Okay, thanks. Let's go and save my friends. Oh, god damn it! I wanted the window seat. <laughs> Leave Benny alone! She's a human! I hope he can see this because I'm doing it as hard as I can.